Who were you thinking of when you were making that final call, Merrill? Not what, who in particular. Was there somebody? At that moment of the final call? Yeah. No, I, I was just... Uh, I, of course, I couldn't hold my breath because I had to speak. I was just focusing on that, focusing on that call. And you know, it's funny because people ask me, "Do you write something? Do you, do you jot something down for a moment like that?" I might have at the first Super Bowl in '80 that I did after the '80 season, have tried to prepare myself for such a moment, and probably after the 2004 season when the Eagles played the uh, the Jacksonville game against the Patriots. I had some thoughts in my mind, but I said on this one, you know, just just let your heart talk and, and just just react. I had nothing. All I was thinking about was I hope that uh, I hope that we didn't see a, a repeat of some of those things that Aaron Rodgers had done when he threw it for the end zone and a Packer came down with the ball. I just <laughs> want to see that. That's all I was thinking about. Just I just wanted to see the officials wave off and and show us an incompletion. So then uh, let me give you the floor and voice what this means for the city of Philadelphia with you essentially for what, except for a a stint in in the armed forces have been around the city of Philadelphia your whole life, Merrill. Yeah. I mean, I was a Naval officer when I came out of college for uh, a tour of duty as a public affairs officer. And then uh, after that, I went through the little stations and up to doing the Eagles pre- and post-game show, one thing after the other. Mm-hmm. So this is my 41st year doing the Eagles. So I, I have been here for a long time, and I, I said something to Doug Peterson yesterday. But we came back, we flew in. The fans outside the airport were lining the streets, and they were cheering on the other side of the fence. And as we walked to our buses that would take us back to our cars at the Eagles training site, the players said, hey, let's go see them. And they walked over to the fence, and the fans started cheering and singing Fly Eagles Fly. And I said to Doug, I said, back in 1960, as a kid, when the 1960 Eagles championship team came back, well, actually, it was when they they played the championship in Philadelphia. But right before that, when they clinched the Eastern Division of the NFL, which put them into the championship game, there was no Super Bowl then, I said to a friend of mine, let's go down to the airport. I thought we would be the only two to see the team come back, but there were hundreds, not thousands. (laughs) But I was once upon a time on the other side of that fence, screaming out the names of my favorite Eagles. And then to be a part of it yesterday was just an incredible, incredible feeling. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. 